Hey guys, Dimpo here with another video. And in today's video, I'd like to focus on how to prioritize and build a successful team, whether you're free to play, a dolphin, or a whale. We see all these new shiny units coming out constantly, and you know, it's a trend. It will continue to see it as, as the game progresses through its life cycle. And naturally, you know, we want all of them because the new one is always going to be better than the old one that comes out, right? But wasting the little resources that we get is not going to benefit your account if you try to build them all at once. So, how do you prioritize who to build first? Well, the first question you gotta ask yourself is what sort of content do you wanna focus on? Is it story, supreme feast, bosses, or PvP? Reality is, uh, unless you spend some serious cash, you're not gonna be able to compete, to, sorry, to be extremely competitive in, in all, right? Especially if there's a lot of Giga Wells in your cluster. Um, for example, my cluster is, is very competitive, right? We have a lot of whales and we have a lot of um, dolphins as well who have been really punching ab above their weight. So, what are the, the common mistakes that you want to avoid? So, the first one, as I said, is you definitely, <laughs> definitely don't want to, you know, see a shiny new unit and, and go for it and forget all about the other ones that, that, that you've been building. So, you know, stretching yourself too thin is, is, is not going to benefit you. You always want to focus on completing one unit at a time. So, for example, if you start a cigar and now you see how good Ibuki is, you know, keep going until you finish the gut, forget about Ibuki, get her out of your mind. They're very different units and they'll boss your team in different ways, but if you can't get any of them at a usable level, it's kind of pointless because you're only prolonging making your team team better, right? Um, so, that's the first mistake that people do. The second one is, do you, how well do you know your cluster, right? Like, what players do you focus on? So, me personally, right? I'm very competitive in PvP, so what I try to do is I always try to see what my what my competitors are running, right? So take here Vix for example, right? This is his team. You know, he's got a very, very competitive team. Or um, you know, Akko or Stefan or, or Alpha, right? Even even Alpha has a great team. So if I'm gonna focus on PvP, my go to is how do I counter these teams, right? And that's how I've sort of been building my team. So if you look at my um my fighters here, you see Iryu, who's an absolute monster in PvP. You have Akuma, who's also a monster in PvP, right? And now I'm, I'm building Virgil and, and Nero as well. So, I'm building my team around that particular competition. So, Chun-Li has been extremely valuable for me, right? With the cars and the fighting spirit. I'm still, I still have a max out, but definitely on the way to do so. So, that's my second tip for you. Find your niche and basically go for it if it's... You know, if it's boss fights you're after, then you want to focus on your, you know, your F Blanca and, and your um, Flame Chun Li if you decided to spend and get her, alright? Because these units are the ones that are really going to push you to the next level. I mean, the maxing out Bison is, is a no brainer. In my opinion, he's still the best unit in the game. Um, so if you haven't maxed him out yet, then, then <laughs> what are you doing? If you see my previous video, like, he comes absolutely clutch when you least expect it, right? Um, but yeah, so that's that's what I would really try and focus on, right? If you're the sort of person that's committed, say for example, building Eerie, uh, sorry, uh, Mad Ryu, like stop, right? Don't double down, because he's not going to be your main carry for long. For me personally, he got me to chapter 33, but unless you have a MH Ken behind him, I'm not sure he's going to be that useful for you, right? And he's definitely not good for boss fights. But anyways, I'll do another video on where he fits in the car meta, right? So that's the second mistake people do, right? Um, and another common, <laughs> sorry, another very common mistake that people have been doing is like for these special events, right? Is, is it worth spending 60 to 8 special tickets to gain one copy of an A unit that's going to be useless after the event? So you can, you know, hope to reach the top 3 and get any of those 12 to 16 special tickets back? Or you could have like spent those tickets to finish Akuma or Ryu depending on who you've been building so far, right? So this, these are the questions that you should be asking yourself, because in my opinion, this game is, is endurance and attrition, right? You're far more likely to succeed if you focus on one unit at a time, rather than building five or six at a time, given how hard it is for resources to come by, right? So avoid these mistakes, and I guarantee you, you'll be a lot more competitive. Anyways, that's all for today's video, and I hope uh, you guys find it helpful and helps you going forward. But please, please do not 
make those mistakes because it will only set your account back and it will help other people you know prosper and progress anyways guys thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video